Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to create Flexbox image slider using only HTML and CSS. As you can see on my computer screen, I have this Flexbox uh, image slider design. You can see an image and also we have these two arrows from left to right. Also, we can use these arrows to click our next image. And also, we can use the left image to slide back to our images. So we'll create this using only HTML and CSS. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. So without wasting time, let's start the video. Hello and welcome back again. So here I have one folder called Flexbox. Now inside this folder, I have two files, one for my HTML, one for my CSS. Also, I have these images that I'll be using to create this Flexbox image slider. So now let's open this with our VS Code. So here is my index.html. I've written the basic HTML structure. Also, I have this one title. And also, I have these two links. Also, the first link you can get it from in the video link description. It's framework that I'm going to use to create this Flexbox image slider. Also, I have this one CSS link tag that I've connected with my HTML. Next is my style.css. Here I have written the basic HTML CSS structure. As you can see, box sizing, border box, and also I've used before and after. Now come back to your index.html. Under the body, we'll create one div with a class container. Also, I'm going to create one more div again, the class name slider. Inside this div, I'm going to add my img. Also, I'm going to, before adding my, uh, my image, I'm going to say, I'm going to add a class. And my class will be active. Also, now I will add my image image one also i'm going to simply duplicate this also change your image also we don't need this class so i'm going to remove it Now, if you save this and open with the, open this with Google Chrome, you can see we have our images. Next, come back to your text editor. At the end of this div tag, I'm going to create one div with a class name. Or let's create a nav. And inside this nav, I'm going to give it a class also. Slider nav. Inside this nav, I'm going to create ul and li also the first li i'm going to give it a class arrow and also here i'm going to add my button also this button i'm going to give it a class arrow next is we need to add is okay let not clear let's remove this class and because we have two classes you can only create let's change this to maybe like saying previous because here we're creating our buttons for previous and next that's all also i'm going to add a span tag inside this span tag i'm going to add i'm going to use the i tag also we'll create a class in this i tag here i'm going to add my That's all. Now, at the end of this li, here I'm going to copy paste this, copy the whole of this again, and simply paste it here. Now, if 
for next I'm going to change my class next also I'm gonna I'm going to change my class here to be right so if you are wondering why I'm getting this arrow is because I have this one link tag that I've said I will I will leave this link in my video link description so that you can also get it and follow the tutorial next is that's all now if you save this and load the web page you can see we have our two buttons okay now let's add some css so go to style.css here i'm going to start with the body and the body i'm going to say margin zero also i'm going to add background again i'm going to start with my class container this class I'm going to add max width. Also, I will add margin. Padding. Again, let's go to our button. Here I'm going to say position to be relative. Display inline block also I'm going to add casa to be pointer next I'm going to add this outline to be none border zero vertical line middle also we are going to add background to be transparent Next, I will add is padding. And for this one, I'm going to give 20 pixel by 50. Or let's make it 5. 5 pixel. Also, I'm going to add color. Here, I'm going to add my color code. Next, I'm going to add is lastly is which is font size, and for my font size, I'll give it two. Next is our I'm going to say button span. And here I'm going to add I'm going to say position to be relative. Next, I'm going to say display inline block transform translate. Y or let's change it to X and I'm going to give it zero. Also, lastly, I'm going to add transition and I'm going to say transform 0 0.3 second is next. I'm going to say my previous, previous, and here I'm going to add over. And I'm going to say span. Here I'm going to say transform. Translate X. And I'm going to say negative 10 pixel. And I'm going to add a scale of 1.2. Simply copy this. And here I'm, instead of previous I'm going to say next. Okay. Next, we're going to style is our slider. So it should be slider. Slider now. And also, I'm going to add my UL. And here, I'm going to say list style to be none. Next, I'm going to say margin zero. Padding zero and also display to be flex lastly i'm going to adjust my content to be center 
Next, I'm going to say slider nav ul li. And here I'm going to say display also to be flex. Next, I will add this flex and I'll give it a value of 2. And lastly, I'm going to say text align to be at the center. Next is my img for all our images. Okay, here I'm going to add max width 100%. Next, we'll add this display to be none. Lastly, I'm going to add box shadow. Here I'm going to say 10 pixel. Zero. Also, I'm going to use, I'm going to add colors. Here I'm going to say 94, 47. Zero point two. Next is I'm going to edit is my class IMG active. Remember we created this class IMG active, okay? Come back here, and here I'm going to say for this class I'm going to say display to be block. Next I'm going to add WebKit, and I'm going to add animation. And I'm going to use fade in fed IMG and I'm going to say 0 0.8 second. Okay. Also, I'm going to add this again. I'm going to add animation. And also here I'm going to say fed. Zero point eight second. That's all. Next is my slider now, and here I'm going to edit my arrow, both my two arrows. Okay, and here I'm going to say flex to be zero point zero zero, and I'm going to give it fifteen percent. Next is my anchor tag and here I'm going to say let's start saying by maybe we should add something like we we'll start saying by flex basis to be so we should be flex basis okay and here I'm going to say hundred percent also, I'm going to say display flex. Lastly, I'm going to say align items to be at the center. Next, again, I'm going to say slide. And here, I'm going to edit all my span, span tag, okay? Here, I'm going to say display to be block. Next, I will add this width of 100%. Lastly, we need to add these keyframes. So if we save this and go back to your web page, reload it. Now you can see we have our flex slider, okay? But now you see we can't slide, so let's add at least keyframes here. And also we'll add JavaScript. And I'm going to say fed IMG. And here I'm going to say from, I'm going to add opacity, zero, two, and also my opacity here will be one. Again, I'm going to add keyframes. Fed IMG, okay. Here I'm going to again I'm going to say from I'm going to add opacity zero and also here I'm going to add opacity for our second okay now if you save this and load your web page 
Now you can see we have our flex image slider, okay? But the problem is now we can't slide to the next image or the previous image, okay? So for that we need to add JavaScript. Come back here to a text editor here. We're going to create a file called script.js. Okay, and also let's connect our J our JavaScript to HTML. Here I'm going to say script and click script source. Here we're going to connect our script.js. Now save your index.html. Here I'm going to just do some copy and pasting, okay? So I have this JavaScript codes. Don't worry, I'm going to explain all the codes here, okay? Now here you can see I've used const, you can use uh, let if you want, or var. But for me, I, I prefer constant, okay? So I created items, item count, next, and previous item, okay? And also, I've used query selector, all and query selector, okay? Also, I've created a function, and inside this function, I've used condition, JavaScript conditional statement, okay? If and else. And this function is for our show next item. Also, the next um, function I've created is show previous item. And also here I've used conditional statement, if and else. Also again I've created a function called keep press. And lastly I've created this next item and previous item. And I've used in JavaScript event listener, okay? I've added event listener. And so if we save this, now, now refresh your web page and let's try to slide to our next image. You can see now it's working and this is because with the help of JavaScript. So guys, we have completed creating our Flexbox image slider using only HTML and CSS and also a small JavaScript. Also, with the help of JavaScript, you can we can slide to our next image. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also share. So, till next time, bye.